Hey, what's up guys? This is Lewis. This is my 2016 WRX, and this is my first video for my channel. Um, when I bought my car, it was a base model, so I'm going to start off with all the exterior things that I've done to the car. Okay, uh, first, uh, my car was the base model, so it did not come with fog lights. So I went ahead and bought the fog light kit from Subi Speed, and I got the yellow fog light lenses instead, or bulbs, instead of the clear. Uh, next, I went ahead and added a, a front lip. It's an OEM style lip. It's a replica. I only bought it for like 120 bucks from some local shop here. And it fits perfectly. So uh, I couldn't really justify paying like 200 and something, upwards of 200 to 300 bucks on a front lip. So bought this and it fits perfect. Uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, also, I want to apologize. My car is filthy. It's been raining off and on here in Hawaii. And the, a lot of the road grime and mud has been, is all splashed up on my car. I haven't been able to wash it, so hopefully tonight, or this evening when the sun goes down, I'll wash my car. Um, let's see. Another thing, I added a little cheap mod. I just added the red pinstripe to the front grill just to give it a little more character. Uh, I also got the license plate relocation kit from Grimspeed. I mean, it works good, I guess. I mean, I really don't, I'm not really a fan of front license plates, but I really don't want any tickets, so I chose that. Uh, also, to cover those holes, I bought the li uh, license plate hole plugs. Or I can't remember what it's called, but uh, you can look it up. It's on Subi Speed. Uh, these are, like, painted to match the factory color of your car, and mine's, like, ice silver, so it does kind of, it does match it, but it, it look it's a slight different shade but it isn't bad i think it's better than having the that black metal plate covering up covering up your front bumper it looks kind of strange to me i mean i like i rather have this than have a black plate on my bumper but uh enough of that moving on next thing of course is you can't have a subi without the mud flaps which here in hawaii these actually do good because you see all the red dirt all over red mud and stuff collected on there. I got the rally armors uh, with the red logo for the front and rear. As you can see. Also another thing I did, I added was the, o was the OEM uh, sun visors for the side of the windows and the OEM vortex generator for the for the back of the uh, car. Let's see what else we got. For engine mods, so far the only thing I've done is just the ETS intake. I got the intake box and I wrapped it in gold heat foil just to kind of help with some of the temperatures. And I mean, it didn't make a drastic difference, but it does, does kind of help. So, And it also looks kind of semi-nice inside the engine bay. I mean, minus all these wrinkles, it's kind of hard to get it without wrinkles on it. But yeah, uh, let me take you inside. Also got the Cobb access port, the V3. If you're looking for the one for the 2015 and 16, I believe it's uh, Sub004 uh, is the model number. And I am on a Cobb. I am on an OTS uh, stage one map just for the ETS intake for now until I get a tune which I did have one of my other car parts come in the mail the other day. So you just, you know, click on my next video and you will see a review on that uh, car part that came in. But uh, other than that, I mean, my, ne my next plans I have is installing this next car part that you will see in the next video and getting a brand tune just until I can get an actual tuner to come out here. So... Check back with me later. Hopefully subscribe to my channel. And see ya.